Hello YouTube and welcome to Bub's World. I'm your host Bub and today we're going to get into a small stack of books that I picked up off eBay. So it's an eBay auction win and uh, you never know quite how to take it when you're the only bidder on an eBay auction win. So I'll go over a couple of reasons why I think that might have been the case. Think if I got a fair price or not and uh, we'll take a look at what we got. So uh, maybe the comics on the back wall will, uh, will cue you into what the theme for today's lot was. Uh, but let's go ahead and make me small and get to the hall. Yo! <laughs> All right. Can you can you guess? Are you are you anywhere with it right now? Uh, so basically, we got a Dave Stevens haul for y'all. Uh, so here's what happened. There's a book that's been on my want list for quite some time. I haven't had a chance to get it at a reasonable price, and every time I see it, it tends to be uh, slabbed. And, you know, that's not a huge issue, I suppose, but, you know, you pay that slab price and I'm not necessarily looking to pay the slab price. Um, it's a mag, so um, we'll, we'll, we'll show it off at the end. First of all, this was a lot, and uh, these are the books that I got in the lot. And some of them I already had, but that's okay. So first up, we got uh, Rocketeer Adventures number two. Uh, actually, I did not have this one yet, so check that out. Nice Dave Stevens cover. So this is actually the back cover to uh, the first appearance of Rocketeer and Star Slayer. So they put this in the back. And then also this is the first advertisement scene for Rocketeer in the issue prior to that of Star Slayer. So very cool stuff. Uh, so this image gets used a lot and it really is the first, as far as I'm aware of, the first advertising in comic of the Rocketeer. So that's a cool cool little deal about that and it says here's entertainment dished out in brutal chunks back when the teeth of justice bit deep into the throat of crime so very cool you got some classic uh dave stevens artwork there loving that and then uh next up we have i think a black and white version of rocketeer adventures number three so that was Adventures 2, so that's the next volume. So we're out of order here for anyone that cares. Uh, this one's okay. I don't really care for when they do the black and white versions. It doesn't look as good, I think, because it's kind of simple. I already needed some color. So, But there you go, and the whole comic is black and white throughout. Next, we have Rocketeer Adventures 2. We're back out of order number four. So this image has already been used before as well. So all these, uh, I think these were like jetpack jet exclusives or retailer incentives and stuff like that. Uh, but all of these um, covers are all just reused Dave Stevens art because of course they came out post hominis and uh, all of these were, um, were reused images either from interior art or from other covers. So this one was reused from the original storyline as a, it was originally a cover. And so they did a little bit of touch up on the coloring. I actually think the coloring is better on this than the original, but uh, looks pretty good. So there you go. And then I, that, those I didn't have, technically I had the books, but I didn't have these versions of the covers. So next we have uh, the Rocketeer Cargo of Doom. This one I did already have. So this is a double. Uh, Rocketeer Cargo of Doom number four. The Dave Stevens cover. So pretty cool. All right. So now the big book that I was after, very excited to get it. Uh, it's been on my want list for maybe two years now. And it's Alter Ego number 21. It's a mag. So this book, um, I've been trying to get a hold of this thing. It's, it's not easy. You don't see them pop up too often. And when they do, they usually want like 50 to 100 bucks for them. And often they're slabbed. And when they're slabbed, they get closer to the $100 mark. And for some reason, there seems to be an, uh, an abundance of high grade copies of this mag. So when you get it uh, in a slab, it's usually like a 9.6 or a 9.8. And then it's even harder to afford, right? So it's a flip book. And when you look at this side, often this will be the side that is promoted, which is a clear mistake. <laughs> Because who would want to buy this cover when you could buy this cover? So in this case, though, this was it was I think it was listed as Dave Stevens lot and um, which should be enough to sell it. I thought uh, this wasn't the feature of the lot. They they showed a couple of these Rocketeer 
books instead as the feature of the lot. I'm a fan of buying comic lots, but I'm not a fan of selling comics in lots. I don't generally do that. I don't, I don't agree with that. Now, some people are like, oh, we'll throw that in. Well, here's the deal. Let's say I'm willing to spend $50 on this mag, uh, but I already own all these. Well, you may know that the value of this book is say 45 to 50 bucks. Maybe you think it's 60 bucks, but because you're throwing in one, two, three, four other books, you're like, hey, five bucks a piece on that. That's another 20 bucks. So I'm going to sell this whole lot for 70 bucks. It's like, well, I only wanted this book for 50. I don't need those other four books or even care about them, especially when they're not, they may be the same artist, but they're not the same character. So maybe I don't care about those other four books and I don't want to spend $70 on your lot to get books I don't need and to basically overpay for the book I want. So I'm, I'm kind of against selling books in lots. I know people will argue otherwise, but even as a run collector, when I'm finishing up my runs, I rarely end up buying books in big lots unless I'm, unless the, the average price of the books that I want turns out to be worth it. And then I still get stuck with a bunch of books I don't want. So that, that I'm usually don't do that as a, as a buyer too often or as a seller, I'd never do it. Uh, but every now and then this happens. This book isn't the main feature of the lot. You got a different book as the main picture. You scroll a couple of pictures later, you see this book or it's a very small version of this book in the main picture. And then I was like, Whoa, and it was like 35 bucks. And that was a starting bid. And to be honest, my max bid was higher than that. And it went the whole time and I was the only bidder and I got the lot. So boom, 35 bucks for this book, which I'm very, very pleased with. And then I got a few books thrown in the mix and only one was a double. So yeah, that turned out to be a win for me this time. But check that out. Sheena, queen of the Iger comics kingdom. Some amazing Dave Stevens art. Not too long ago, um, me and Simon did a uh, Lickworthy cover episode and uh, he used this image as a thumbnail and I don't know where he, I think he just looked up Sheena and he got this pulled up and I was freaking out because I was currently bidding on this book when that episode aired and I was worried that other people would be like, oh, that's a cool image. I wonder what that's from. Look it up and then find it on eBay and try and outbid me. So I was like, oh man, what bad timing to have a big thumbnail with this image on it. I know Jimmy the Geek Aficionado was after this book for a while and did end up securing one eventually. And I think uh, his might be slabbed as well. A lot of these slabs and it's it's a magazine. So they're in those CGC kind of crappy slabs. I don't know what you call them, but those magazine slabs for CGC are rough. Like they're real flimsy and cheap and cloudy and the labels all warped inside of them and everything. Just, just, just not a good product they're putting out on that. So there you go. Sheena, queen of the... Iger Comics Kingdom, and it's got some uh, interior. I'll show that off. That's the other thing. I didn't want this flip book, so you got to kind of go halfway through before you get the stuff you can look at. Um, but, you know, one of the reasons that I wanted the mag is because the mags are so much more fun. Like, I'm not a big fan of them slabbed because there's so much good stuff inside the magazines, uh, stuff that kind of never gets old, you know? You can reread it and go through them. So I like a good comic mag or a fanzine. That's a lot of fun. So a lot of golden age images there. I don't know. I'm digging it. Definitely digging it. Good stuff. All right. So if you guys planet comics, you know, you guys know, I love those. So there you go. If you guys are after this book, good luck. Uh, they do pop up. Be aware that it looks like this on the back side. It took me a while to, to learn that. So, cause nobody talks about it. So be aware that it looks like this on the backside, but it is the same book. It's alter ego number 21. All right. We'll catch you next time on uh, bub's world. Remember to read a mag <laughs> and even at the high gloss, don't apologize for that glare. Bye-bye.